What up, Destin Ones? Ray Solo here, and today I'm gonna show you how to defeat Yellow Brow. He's a three part boss found in Black Myth Wukong Chapter 3. Let's get to it. The first phase of the fight is actually pretty easy. Just avoid his heavy lightning attacks and counter with attacks of your own. This guy is a bit of a trickster. He tends to disappear when you try to finish your combos with that heavy attack, so be mindful. The fastest way that I found to get through phase one is to use a combination of Pluck of Many as well as my good buddy Red Tide. Yellow Brow seems to be really weak against fire damage. So hitting him with Red Tide's attacks in conjunction with the attacks coming from my decoys did a massive amount of damage very quickly. This combo took down his health bar very rapidly, so I highly suggest you all do the same. Toward the end of the fight, his attacks get a bit more aggressive. For any ground attacks, I found that using Cloud Step is a great way to avoid damage. For any aerial attacks, you want to do your best just to dodge and focus less on attacking until the opportunity presents itself. After his health bar gets low enough, it'll disappear. He'll do his little disappearing magic trick, and then a cutscene will play. This is the beginning of phase two. In this second phase, you will be faced with the Macaque Chief. He's pretty much a monkey that can fly, and he's not that hard. For this phase, I stayed aggressive. I went at him with light combos, ending with heavy hitters every opportunity I got. From time to time, he'll fly in the air and try to hit you with these slash attacks that come from his sword. They're pretty easy to avoid and you can often see him coming. He will often spawn in a duplicate to try to distract you. I totally ignored him for the most part and just went for him because once you kill him, you kill the duplicate. Once you get pretty close to halfway, you'll summon two duplicates for a total of three of them. They're a little harder to ignore, but I still did what I could just to focus my attention on the main one. Once you kill the main one, you kill all of them. When you get closer to the end of the fight, I noticed that Zubaji offers aid a little more often. He will often strike on the Macaque Chief as well as heal you whenever your health gets low enough. He does this from the start of this phase, but I just noticed that he does it more often toward the end of the fight, so that definitely helps. To end the fight, I simply pulled out the Tiger's Acolyte and slashed him. After defeating him, you'll capture his spirit and then you'll become him. And that starts the third and final phase of this whole fiasco. You'll be teleported to an area where there's a lot of enemies around. They're really easy. You can either use his heavy slash attack to kill them or you can just run past them. You'll eventually get to an open area where you'll meet Yellow Brow for the last time. And this portion of the fight is by far the hardest. Using the Macaque Chief's power attack is very useful against Yellow Brow as he does seem to be quite weak against it. I would have loved to use him for the duration of the fight as it did seem to make it easier, but then I discovered that using Spellbinder makes this whole fight a whole lot easier simply because it increases the attack damage done by your staff. And personally, I think that's one of the coolest things in the game. It takes away your ability to use your magic as well as any transformations. But, like I just said, it makes you hit a lot harder, making this boss a bit easier. Yellow Brow has a vast amount of attacks and they all do a considerable amount of damage. You really want to do your best to keep moving and try to avoid any electrical attacks that are coming your way. Easier said than done I know, but it can be done. Just like in the first phase, you want to hit him with as many power attacks as you can. Be careful not to stand too close for too long or else he'll zap you. Some of his attacks have surprisingly good range, so be ready for that. After you do about a quarter of damage, this happens and it's annoying. There's no way to get around it. Thou shalt fear. 
or thou wilt never see skill. Behold my Machavillian form! How can Mount Linsa match its magnificence? That attack simply seems unavoidable and I was not able to find a way around it. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. That attack was often followed up by this ring of lightning. You simply just stop, jump over, and avoid all the incoming attacks. From time to time throughout the fight, he will turn solid gold, pretty much making him invincible. You can force him to turn back by hitting him with a power attack with at least two charges. One charge isn't enough, two or more. This often staggers him, giving you a good chance to do additional damage. I weighed in on him with light combos, finishing with Skyfall Strike. Once you get his life down to about half, this then happens. Yep, you guessed it, another unavoidable attack for damage. After healing up, I waited till he started charging, I charged up myself, then hit him with a heavy. That stopped him from doing that attack completely. Once he has about 30% of life left, he becomes more aggressive. This is where you want to focus on dodging over attacking. Wait for those opportunities, take them as they come, don't try to rush it, he will zap you. As the end of the fight drew near, it became harder to find an opening to hit him. Unfortunately, it took me to actually learn his attack patterns to overcome this. He threw everything he had at me. Lightning from the sky, the ring of lightning, he swung his hammer, turned gold, all of the above. I didn't think I was gonna get him. So, what did I do? Hmm, the answer is simple. I stayed patient. And when he started charging up for another attack, I hit him with the final blow. I hope these tips were able to aid you in defeating this outrageously difficult boss. I personally fought this guy around 50 times. How many times did you guys fight him? Let me know in the comments. My name is Ray Solo. You're on Ray Solo Gaming. And for more Black Myth Wukong how-to videos, hit that subscribe button. I'm out.